Now, let's see how to install IntelliJ in your laptop or PC. Make sure you open your browser which is already present and type IntelliJ download in the search bar. Once you type it, make sure you click the first link that is already present. Once you click the first link, you'll be redirected to this page. In this page, you can see there is IntelliJ for Windows, IntelliJ for Mac and IntelliJ for Linux. Click Windows as we're downloading for Windows now. Also, there are two editions present. One is Ultimate, the other one is Community Edition. Uh, community Edition is free, whereas Ultimate is paid. So let's download the Community Edition. Now here, click on Download. Once you click on Download, you can see that we'll be redirected to this page. If you're not redirected, click this link. So it will help you redirecting. And here we can see the download is going on. Let's wait till the download completes. So once the download is done, you can either click here and click open when done, or you can go to your folders and you can check. There will be a, this setup created. Once this is created, double click on it. So there will be a pop-up on your window, which will ask if you should download IntelliJ, yes or no. Uh, it will make hardware changes. Give S for it. Now you can see this uh, box in my screen. Click next. Here, so this is the folder where your IntelliJ will be downloaded or installed. So make sure you click browse and change the location if needed. You click next here. Once you click next, make sure you tick all these boxes. If you only want to use Java, only Java's uh, enough here, but there is nothing wrong with clicking all the boxes because in future, if you want to change, it will be useful. Click next here. Not change nothing and click install. So the installation will take some time. Let's wait till the installation completes. So now we can see that the installation is complete. Click finish. Now you can see IntelliJ on your screen or desktop. Double click on it. Don't select anything here. Let me show you how to create a basic project. Here, here click on new project. Once you click on new project, make sure you give a name to your project. And this will be the location where the project will be created. So make sure you remember this location. Also here select the language which you need to use. Let's select Java. Here the build system. Let it be Maven, let it be IntelliJ, let it be Gradle, anything you want. Here you should select the JDK that you want to use. If there is no JDK present here for you, click here. Click download JDK. Here in this vendor option, you can choose any of this JDK according to your preferences and click download so it will automatically download. Now once this is done, click create. After you click create, you can see that a new project is created. Also these click always download, click automatically. Make sure you give always download to the pop-ups which are given below because so, so this is the main class and you can see that the run button is not visible. So let's wait for some time for all the dependencies to download. So now once all the dependencies are download, you can see that there's this run button. You can run the code by clicking this button. So yeah, we can see we got the output successfully. Also, this is where the project got created. Untitled was the name of a project. If you go inside, there'll be source, under source, there's main. So main is this project which is open. You can code anything and everything you want here. Also, if you want to download any plugins externally, so you can click file. In file, you can go to set. No, no, no. You can click 
uh, file in file you can go to settings in settings you can see these options in this option click on plugins once you click on plugins you can select any plugin you want you can type here to check any plugin you want also if you want to download the plugin let's take I want to download Scala click install so Scala will be automatically installed now after Scala is installed you should restart your IDE once the re once you restart your IDE you'll be able to uh, use Scala in your program